Hey guys, and everyone, welcome back to another video. And today we we just heard from Nate Shot, and he's going to give a briefing for the new about Call of Duty Black Ops Six, and he's going he's going to tell about what the Black Ops Six is going to be about, and this is my friend Nisha, Nisha, and he's gonna talk about it, and we're gonna play this video. This video was posted by CDL headquarters, so just hit the subscribe button, and also you will see this video as well. And before I get to the this video, please don't forget to leave a like, subscribe, and notifications. So, and let's get into the video. So, and so this one he was talking about the Black Ops Six, and he's he's going about to talk about it. So we're gonna let's see, let's see he was about to say about Black Ops Six. So we got to talk about Black Ops Six, man. I'm not gonna lie to you, gentlemen. I. I kind of want to get on Val today. I mean, I have it in the title already, but I feel like Val, man, something about, I got to try to fall in love playing with a controller again. You, there's something about the keyboard mouse, man, that just speaks to me. That's just calling out my name. And it's hard for me to justify going to play COD. I mean, the viewership's been great, but I think Val just genuinely might be my like favorite game of all time. And I don't know. I don't know how to handle that. Um, I think I need to stop overthinking it for sure. Like, all right, candidly, gentlemen, like streaming is a business, bro. Plain and simple. Like, I'm paying my family's bills through streaming, and so I'm just kind of stuck in this weird place with this beta, where <clears throat> I know when Black Ops Six comes out, I'm gonna want to play it when the full game is out. But viewership was great yesterday. Viewership's been great the last two days, but I'm really just not having that much fun. And I feel like you can tell, you can feel it, you can see it, you can hear it. And Val, like I've just kind of built a pretty consistent audience over the last couple months playing and it feels wrong to be playing Valorant while the beta is out. But at the same time, it's just like, it's the same three maps. Game doesn't feel all that different. I, yo, I genuinely think that they need to, um, and I mean this, bro. I think they need, I, I don't know if I'm faded for, I was having this conversation with Symphony yesterday, and I saw uh, Ebates, who's like a competitive Warzone player, tweet out the same thing this morning, which made me feel less crazy. But since I don't play the game as much, I, I didn't really want to like put it on the timeline. But I opened up my camera yesterday on my phone to talk about it, because I was thinking about recording a video and uploading it. So he was saying, um, what the the first part that he said about like he wants to be playing a controller of this game and and he and he's feeling about that um playing Black Ops Six or playing different a. Uh, like up six or play a different game because he feels like about playing that game except for playing Valorant all the time because um he's he's been playing Valorant like many times many years and stuff but he he really thinks that that he wants to do to move on with the Black Ops six and and he probably wants to do that for for the rest of his life. So because he's really a big fan of the Call of Duty business, Call of, Call of Duty franchise, and he's he's gonna be doing this all the time because he was a champion for the, the Call of Duty in the past week because he was in he was in the Optic Texas Texas and. 
he's he might he might do he'll be back on uh, Call of Duty like like maybe master keyboard or controller probably but it's been doing ma mouse control mount probably mouse and keyboard for another sort of reason but and maybe he would might do the controller so And uh, let's see he will he will say about this. Um I think they need to like remove tax sprint. And I actually said this in MW3, bro. As somebody who pl hasn't played COD consistently, they either need to remove sprinting from the game or tax sprinting. I don't care if tax sprint speed is like the default sprinting speed but having three different types of motion in the game is just really weird to me like you can ads walk you can fucking walk you can sprint and then you can tax sprint and i know people are going to say like it's a skill gap issue it's a skill gap thing but i genuinely don't think it makes sense for there to be two different versions of sprinting it just it makes things feel awkward and and wrong to me and it's something that i've had a hard time like trying to get over in my own head in my own mind about it i don't know i think so that part of who was saying about the movement of the this new movement in black Ops six and he's not feeling about like about the movement because he he used to play the the, the basic movement of the, the the latest Call of Duty and he's been like he's been doing this for many years but he but he right now he's pop probably working on this movement so because there are a bunch of players that are doing all of the the moving and stuff left and right you know and diving stuff but he doesn't really like the mechanic of the movement of the of the black Ops six but i wish i wish that um th they will um get rid of that sp the, sp the spirit walking and everything so that's like it's called like maybe auto movement auto move forward so that that's 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 what that's what it's called so and he's probably maybe he's probably want want this gone because i know what it feels and i know what's going and i know what's going on but he needs to um maybe um about about this movement so if if addition will confirm that the movement has been re-enabled re-enabled the auto move forward will be gone but it's 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 he needs to do to do some stuff with that so i think it's an issue i think it's been an issue for a while now um but you know I'm not making the decisions. I just, I feel like something's got to give there. That's my own personal take. If they remove tax sprint, then how do you think sprint would work in Warzone? I mean, I don't play a lot of Warzone, but probably the exact same way. I, I like. I think if they want to keep the pace of the play up, which I think is a good thing in most cases, I think tax sprint should just be the the consistent sprint speed. I just feel like there's no reason to have like three different gears of speed while moving in this game. Like I don't know how it is in in Apex, but in my mind I was thinking Apex. Maybe I'm wrong on that because I, I actually don't know, but I just think it adds consistency to the game and the way it feels and having like a fatigue and only being able to allow, allow the player to tax sprint at certain times is just, it's just funky, man. It's just bizarre. I don't like it. 
You know what's interesting too about the beta? I'll say this is like, I fuck with the Treyarch team heavy. I feel like they have consistently put together the, mo the most cohesive Call of Duty titles in the past. But yo, I've, I've said this since Black Ops 1. I think the gunplay in like Infinity War games just feels so much better. Um, it's, there's something about like the way that the gun shoots and hits and handles and the hit markers. I've always been like an Infinity War, like the, the Infinity War titles always feel more arcadey to me. But maybe I'm overthinking that one too. Something, I, I don't know. I, I, don't, I don't know why the beta servers, they only have like 30 ping. And 30 ping is low, bro. I would take 30 ping all day. But some, some was bizarre, like the hit registration, like the time to kill doesn't feel that consistent. I think the ARs need a lot of work, like the sprint to fire speed. If you're not using that jackal sub, you're in trouble. We'll see, bro. We'll see. Either way. So he was saying about the the uh the past of the the Call of Duty. Well, like since Black Ops One, like like I know what the Black Ops One does. It does have like hit markers. It does have any types of different games that have like hit markers and things. But he likes more like get for that. That's where he's at. But I do agree. I do agree about that because I've been playing Call of Duty and it's been a lot of a lot of stuff that's going on. So that's that what's going on. So because maybe Black Ops Six will do the same thing. So and I hope like um that Nashai or Nashai will do this. As well for the Black Ops 6. He might do the same. Wait, man. I think I'm going to play Val this morning, gentlemen. How do you guys feel about that? Get my Val stream, my, my Val boys back in the mix. I think it'll be a good thing. I'm honestly about to just load up the game right now, bro. So that was part of the the the, the 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 video, and so one that he said he's gonna play some Batman for a little bit and get some boys in. So that's what he was doing, and he also saved the skunk because he uh he she had the choke and pop him, but anything. So um, that's all he said for the this one and and he's been working on stuff so it's just uh, just what's going on so and also thank you so much for watching this the the daily esports daily news and please do, and and please do not forget to drink some water and also drink some coffee stay hydrated and, and I'll see you guys whenever I get back. And please, if you want to see more of this, uh, the esports daily news, and I will see you daily news. Don't, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, and and I and I will see you in the next one. And see you in the next one and the next daily news.